Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to do a level by level Tulia tutorial guide. I'm on a rope west in gold level. Now, I'm playing with Electrocute and I'm interested in going for Ludens, Morelos, Zonias and so on. I have secondary inspiration with Biscuits and Time Warp Tonic. Uh, as credentials, because some might not know me, I am I was on Europe, Nordic and East when I played up to Masters and Diamond and such. High Diamond and Masters. That was my elo. There now I'm trying to get to Platinum Gold, uh, to Diamond and above here. Uh, now, in every matchup, before you think of picking Talia or if you get counterpicked, all you want to do every time, all you want to do is to get to level 6, to shove the lane to keep the mana levels afloat and to gank bot. Besides that, the only thing you want to do is either help your jungler or farm like a maniac. And obviously, when going bot, try to put a vision word on the river and try to, you know, uh, get some control so you can actually gank. Oops, I missed that minion. Now, in this matchup, we are level 2, I missed 2 minions, Jesus. We are against Ahri, and I am confused on why I'm missing so much minions. I'll just do this Q and it'll be fine. Okay, I lost a bit of, of farm there, but it's not a problem. She will lose to now. Again, somehow, my top lane loses, but it's not a problem. Hopefully, yet. In this matchup, we're interested in going at level 6 bot, obviously, because they have uh, Brom that can get killed, an Ezreal that's not really a threat, and while he can escape fairly easy, uh, we can actually win even if their jungler comes, because it's an Ezreal and not a stronger threat. If we're careful, it should be all fine. Uh, now, in this lane, we have to lose as few cannons as possible, we have to keep the lane in the middle, and we have to back off every time we think Ahri is getting aggressive because they have a Shaco. And post level 6, look, we've seen Shaco there. Post level 6, we're interested in Mercury Treads, maybe a Zonia or such, something that can help us with the Ahri Charm and with the Shaco Gangs and CC. And now I missed that. Oh, come on. There you go. There you go. So yeah, when your jungler ganks me, ganks me, then does a perfect flash like that, and even though you miss your W, you should back up and you miss it, you should just, if Shaco is not around, you should go for it. Now, Shaco was around, but not that around. He was doing probably his wolves, and that was enough time for us to kill Ahri even though Odir died. Now, we don't have summoner spells now, we're an easy target for Shaco, but if we put a vision word, calculated vision word, we can actually escape uh, his gank and do something useful. Okay, there were some flashes used there, probably just Braum. And where would you put the word if you were a Talia? I mean, well, Shaco might want to just jump over the wall and and gank. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. There you go. So, I'm lucky with the camp, by the way. So, we should calculate where would he be. Now, alone... Remember, he cannot kill you because he just used his Ignite in that trade, that trade before. Now, I can stick to the Ignite now and try to assess where should I put. I will put a Vision Word here and I will also put another word somewhere here. And now I'm 90% safe on this side. I say 90% because there's always some ridiculous gang path that some people think and 
with Shaco is not that hard to think of a very good gank pattern. Now here we actually pushed, we see where is the wave, we have ult. We're interested in getting boots, if possible, Merc Treads in this matchup, and also another Vision Ward, because uh, that one might get down. Now, I'm not sure Avery knows where I put it, but she should check for it. Moving further, we're interested in gang. Well, I'm, I'm saying this is a level by level tutorial, but I'm not saying at level X you have to do that. You generally have to do these things at these levels. So it's, try, it's trying to be informative in a wider sense. And that was a huge W, a very wrong one. And she got that. Oops, back, back. You escape. If you go back now, you escape. There you go. She, she wasted, she wasted time there. She actually, if I'm careful now, what is she doing? I'm actually going to word here. Oh boy, that's a mistake. I don't know what she's doing. Her and oh, yeah, bye. I'm not even going to stay there. I'm going to think that he used his alt. I did not know how much HP he had. I did not care about it. I just went with it. And I did not use. I did not have flash, so I just had to go away. Pro probably could have just walked. But why risk it? I fucked it up. Jesus. I'm so pissed when I do these things. Now, Shaco, I don't know what he's exactly doing. I didn't see him in a while. And apparently. Ahri is winning. Possibly Shaco might have several issues because Europe West lately is kinda mm, in terms of like I've seen like four disconnects in my past two games. Come on, that's an odd rate. I want that crab. Shaco is top, I know he's not here. Only Ahri might come here, but I believe as I'm a level ahead and I have Ignite, if I use E properly, she will stand no chance. And Riven just did a double kill. This is I'm gonna take it, dude. Now, even if I ping there, he spent way too much time. And he, he already got hit, so he shouldn't flame me for that Afri coming. Uh, okay, so both Rengar and Shaco are dead. Oh boy. I really did not expect her to go this aggressive, especially in my Q. Now, why I'm playing with Electrocute? Because if I get here a full combo, she's dead. Especially with the early level advantage and such. And oh my god, that should have been the W. And there's the Rengar. Okay. And there's the Flash. Not a problem, I got the kill on Ahri. And if you ult here, you kill... With another auto attack, kill him. <laughs> That's... okay. Rengar is bot now, Brahm is coming as well. Run, run, run. Ult. That was a very bad ult, a late one. He should have ulted before he got to the bush. Now here I'm selling actually this spot because I want to finish... Morello, Morello, Ludens, sorry. And I want to go for the Morello and for the Zonia. Why do I want Zonia? Did, why would I want Zonia in this matchup? Well, because Rengar will jump on me every time if I'm fed. And not on Tristana because she has ult and W. And I am also dealing more damage until mid to late game. Hard late game than Tristana. I'm pretty sure I'll be ahead. It's just that she has consistent damage. I have some sort of burst because they know how to position properly and... Yeah. Now here we got tower because because of the Rengar Roms. Now I'm trying to I'm trying to play more defensive because an Ahri ult will actually catch me and the Shake ult Yeah will be there. I still have this vision here even though it's crap. I should buy another vision and switch to blue trink uh not blue, red trinket later on. I would go closer here, I'll be honest with you, but I don't have any summoner spells. I do have my ult, I should do a gank. 
but I don't know exactly where Shaco is right now. I don't have any information. I don't have my word. I see this mistake being done often by me and by others. I'm gonna ping here that Akri is missing. I'm going straight towards bot. Akri is not going bot, okay? And Akri is here. They don't have where to go. There you go. Now the only problem is Shaco that... Shaco might... Oh no, he stopped. Okay, 3 tower. 3 tower. There you go, another kill. Oh my god, no, 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 no! Stupid. That's fine. We could recall here, even though we can't take tower. Ezreal will just come, we need time to actually move back, I'm, I said I get the Mertrus, although, yeah, with the CCs and Rengar, <sighs> Ahri's charm will be the biggest threat to me in this matchup, what are you doing, oh, you, you were waiting for him, I get it, I should have bought a vision world, and this one here is very far ahead. Okay, worth. Not really worth actually because he got caught and uh, he got the shot down, but worth in the sense that everyone got a kill. Oh my god, that was that was my death sentence right there. I do have more threads now. Now I'm gonna work here, I want to guess if Shaco is on this side of the map, he is either going to his red and does a gang bot, or he's there. Now here I got the potential to actually shove the wave hard and move bot. I know where Rengar and Shaco are, so it's a free gang. Just a free game. Go, 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 go. There you go. And the double kill. And the tower. I'm not staying because I have to push mid again. I also might help this guy with the Q here. Or so, so we are sure it, went, it goes fast and he doesn't lose that much time. Now, here. Ahri might just fall ult me if he hits the charm. Or I might just kill her. I wasn't sure if she would have died from the ignite, but but it's pretty cool that I don't know. You can see the skill difference in the mechanics in the lane. But again, all I'm doing is doing smart cues and WE combo, which every mid lane player should learn how to do. It's not that impossible. I'll go for Zonia now. I want the book, the Oblivion Orb. Okay. So, don't get me wrong. Everyone can do this if practice is there. If you practice, I don't see any issues with it. I don't see why you couldn't do what, just, what I just did. Now, you might say that I got fed by Odir and his gangs. That's true, but I am completely sure in a 2 versus 2 I'd still win if I'd be careful. It was kind of a 2 versus 2, but yeah. What matters here are the gangs. Now look at this. You see this? We just caught Shaco here, okay? And she lived as well. I just saved you, dude. I know my mid lane is falling, but still, you needed help. So you just have to wander around the map, be at the cool, good time, where it was needed. And you have to play as smart as possible. You have to outthink the enemy in terms of location. It's 
more complicated than the typical mid lane assassin. Just try to get the kill or try to get the kill somewhere else. That's all. Uh, you can do much more with this champ, and that's why I like it. And if you follow this build, I think you'll have decent kill potential at some levels, and you might also have some ganks if you learn how to do them. I missed that. Can I shape when I do that? Jesus. It's like losing a kill, it feels so bad. Now I don't have Ignite. I might get killed by Ahri because of it. She's not that behind, she has 4 kills. But here, however, I can do something interesting. If I do find Vanguard here. But I don't. And. Even it's mid, so I can just shove this in. If Shaco is coming after me, it's still fine. Now the only problem is, when you spam like this, when you spam spells like this, you'll find the issue of mana, and you have to be smart about it. If you don't have a blue buff, you have to keep your mana levels around this level, that is currently, that I currently have. Why? Because you need to do a full combo if danger, if danger approaches. And here, if Shaco comes, I need to be careful. But I can beat this guy with this one, no problem. Oh no, Shaco's bottom. But where is Akri? Akri is mid. Okay, I can fight him. I can fight him. And they are also winning, so... If Rengar ults me, I don't mind, I'll just double you under myself. You should learn the technique against Jax, against uh, Rengar, against champions that you know specifically where they will jump. They will jump on top of your head, that's the only zone where they could jump. In these matchups, it's fairly sure that you can uh, actually work it around and, you know, here I might get a W on this Ahri if she has. I knew she had word the moment she went back. It's obvious. Now, Shaco will follow here, but I think he will first farm. So I have time to take this because I have a very huge clear speed, okay? And this is what you should do because Talia now is officially a jungler, which, which means even without smite that you can take camps without problem. Uh, here I suspect Ahri will do... Or I disconnect, that's what I suspect. Jesus, I had I had huge lags there. Apparently Ahri flashed. I did not see it, or I might have seen it, but lags stopped me from understanding it. Now I see Shaco, I have flash, I don't see Rengar. I don't see Rengar, but again, here suddenly disappeared, I might guess it's a disconnect or getting trolled by Shaco. I mean, for farming that. You don't, you have time to, I shouldn't recall here, I won't recall it to provide some defenses. You should always look out for your jungler because he might be one source of win. Early Talia is very strong until 6, especially against most champions, because she gets her she gets her skills right there. You get level 3, all your skills that damage the enemy team. You don't need more to damage because your ult is obviously a wall. So, oh my god, I don't like this. I should have taken the charm, but again, I risked to die there, so no, that was a very bad. I should have taken the charm there and then flash out. That was a very bad. Uh, Herald as well. Why would you put it in front of that? I mean, it was pretty stupid, especially in an Ari with the Shaco nearby. Oops, what are you doing? Oh, Rengar is not on me. Certain.
I only if Tristana would have followed here. If Tristana would have followed here, Jesus, that would have been some pretty good potential kills. She didn't hit a single charm on me. Ah, oh, this team fight was a mess, and I cancelled. I cancelled the wall as fast as I could. But I knew I blocked Tristana there, okay, I knew. But why aren't... Why isn't nobody mid? The Riven should have been mid here. Dude, you should have death this. I was already here pushing. Well. Anyway, from this point on, all you want to do this is the mid towards the late game, not yet in late but mid, uh, but close to late game if we stand like 10 minutes and so it's considered late game because of the meta. Please stop fighting and go back, Jesus. And in this zone we're interested in doing a nice ult, a nice engage, and then, look as it's this here. As it's this here. They should take they should take that base. Why are they are struggling so much to take that tower? How is he low HP with top? Why did I just keep them there for like half an hour? They didn't do anything. Okay, okay, never rely on champions on your team if you're at lower elos. I don't understand how Sheiko did that alone to them. They were full HP. Probably. I mean, there would have been no reason for them to not be full HP, but yeah. <sighs> Again, prolonging the unnecessary, I suppose. Just passing free kills so that my team can get some towers, but then again my team did not get any towers. I do not know the answer because Shaco is underfed and this two are heavily fed. But then again, we should just play and see what's cooking up next. I'm going top getting this. We should back off, we should play as a team. We should actually do 5 versus 5 because with a proper WE combo. Uh, while we are ahead, I actually think we could easily win, but they are splitting too much and Riven gets caught consistently. And again, not sure if he dies there, but the tower will surely die. And now here, we should do Baron, but this guy, it's... Is not really understanding how the game works in a macro sense, so this is just sad. You should try to do Baron, especially if you're a Talia and have a wall. That's what you should do if you see their bot lane there. Now, again, at this point, we are very ahead. We should aim. I don't know why I did this bot. We should try to actually. Uh, get a kill, an instant kill, because I can do that. Uh, but I, again, my jungler just randomly walks in the map. He's not, he's not playing. He's just farming and getting hot. Apparently. Now they will chase him. Just go here and take that. I'm pretty sure they will chase him. And they even died for what? For a tower. This tower would have died regardless here. No point in getting caught. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ, that fear. I should flash now onto Ezra. And there you go. I don't like these team fights. They are stupid. This was stupid. Okay, we just won 4 versus 5. We won because they have Israel as an ADC. And my team does not understand that. That's the thing. No. Actually, yeah, we can take towers. Two towers. Two towers because I'm gonna ult. I don't care that we died, just death this. Just death this. I'm pinging them so that they don't walk randomly around the map. They should know that the enemy team is supposed to go Baron now. With all this advantage. We have two out of three most fed players in our team. They have everyone. They should go Baron. And if Raven just stays here and loses Baron, okay, they are dumb. I don't understand why they aren't going Baron. It's literally the lone chance again. Look, macro issues. Uh, but yeah, you can see this the farm as well. And Tristana is quite strong now, and I have 16 kill participation out of the total, which is kind of kind of a lot. Everyone is dead. Again. But then again, Odair doesn't do Baron when it's required. We should do Baron here. We should get after Shaco. We have the damage. I'm Talia for God's sake. Uh, but how do you tell him that? How do you make him understand that? You don't, that's the short answer. I should get the... Jesus Christ. Okay. And... I'm gonna start pinging this guy. Because you waste so much time on useless things that you should actually... Look. We should actually get the Baron here, and we lost it. Okay, they are just idiotic at this point. Jesus Christ. Okay. At least they didn't get Baron. We should have lost Baron here. It was quite obvious. Okay, they, they started again. Now, this is the mistake here for their team. Just, just let them take damage, Jesus, don't go. We should do this, and I'm going for the red trinket specifically for this. I don't know why this guy doesn't want Baron. It's just game over if we get it. There you go. It's pretty hard to understand some of the logic behind. You have to clear it, you have to get the checker and then do it. It's that simple. And I really hope you don't get caught here while I'm taking this blue and pushing bot. So these are requirements. And this tower will fall if I don't go here. Now I'll just do this and all in there. Because it seems that they got Shaco so we can go Baron. And this is probably game over. Can you kill that? Thank you. And we can end. All, all it took was a good engage, you know, Udir and Shaco being dead. Because Udir had the early advantage, but he did so much stupid things. So many stupid things, sorry. But yeah. I will continue to make this type of videos. I will try to say at every moment what I think and do. 
I will try to learn from myself as well into teaching you that how, how I play and how others play. I'm not the best, I'm not really close to the best, but I consider myself a decent Talia player that hopefully will get up to mid diamond in this uh, or at least diamond 5. I, I, I'm pretty sure I can get to diamond 5 here. I will try hard to get to diamond 5. Then again, this game provided. I don't know why you can't see this image. Let me try again. Nope. Oh, right. This game provided so much insight into the mistakes that Mac. In macro mistake that players do at this elo. Now you can see at the damage done here, it will prove my point. Talia has a lot of damage, and usually you will be first if you follow some simple steps. Now I did double the damage of their mid laner and triple the damage of their ATC, roughly. And again, it's extremely an extremely useful champion if you are careful about your positioning. If you do the level 6 gank or level 7, if you help your jungler early because your Q is that strong. If you have a jungler like Nocturne, Odir, Xin, Chaco, early junglers, early, strong early junglers, you can play with them, you can go with them. If they're not strong, you can actually use W to save them. You can try to save them and just go back off them. You don't need to die for them, but you can go nearby and play as safe as you can to get some advantage. Again, rules. No matter the matchup, if you get counter pick or not, I usually don't recommend to get counter pick, so not don't pick Talia in Assassins that much. I recommend to actually farm as much as you can, try to get those early CS because Talia is quite strong in auto attacks, especially if you play with a ring. You can play with corrupting portions, but that's harder. You should farm as much as you can. You should shove the lane at level 3 and keep a medium level of mana. I recall before that, obviously, if you don't have mana or just have your first items before doing a major thing or gank or so and then farm as much as you can as you can see here in this game how do i close this look at the farm it's close to 7.58 probably per minute I'm, I'm not sure if it's 8 per minute but yeah it's a pretty decent farm compared to the others especially with Ahri and rengar and raven so yeah i could have farmed more but this game should have been over way back because of the Udyr walking around the map and farming all the time. He lost about 3 or 4 opportunities to actually take Baron and that will drag him down. Probably that's why he's in this elo after all. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if there's anything left that I can say. Follow, Try to follow this build for mid lane, try to follow these runes. You can find them on op.gg on the rock west. Uh, try to actually play safe on lane, try to go for it, if you find an opportunity you can go for the kill as you've seen here, especially after you have your Ludens, W, E, Q combo should, and Ignite should result in a kill, I recommend Ignite, obviously it's a pretty good spell, now in some matchups against Assassins you might want Exhaust or Barrier, heal, not that much because they run Ignite, <sighs> and yeah, try to gank as much as possible and help your team. That should be it for now. And if this is helpful, please like, leave a like and subscribe. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. I tried to be as concise. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. I tried to be as specific as possible. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And see you next time. And I'm sorry that I did not post that much. Uh, it was a long time before I realized Talia can be made again useful in the mid lane and while I'm climbing she's especially useful I do play good in jungle with her on mid lane you can see it's not the best but it's not the worst either if you do it on op.gg slash Talia slash mid lane you can see actually some statistics for her they are not gone but they are not appearing on the main page because there are so few players you can look for those players and you can try to find some quality material if you think these videos are not enough. I also have some uh, a lot of tutorials on my channel for the new guys, new people that enjoyed this. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time guys again. Goodbye.